Two defense contractors from the United States and Europe collaborated to develop a new howitzer that could make artillery the dominant weapon in land warfare. The Ramjet 155 artillery shell has not only a range of 70 kilometers, but can also immobilize and destroy moving targets. The shell is currently under testing and it will allow U.S. and NATO armies to strike targets while safely out of range of Russian and Chinese artillery. The Ramjet 155 was last tested on June 28 at the Andoya Test Center in Norway. The propellant engine of the projectile ignited successfully and demonstrated stability in flight through a well-controlled engine combustion process. For more than two decades, artillery technology has been a relatively low priority for the U.S. military. The emphasis on guerrilla warfare and fighting low-capability adversaries such as the Islamic State and the Taliban has reduced the need for powerful long-range artillery. The U.S. Army and Marines, without a credible enemy artillery threat, could operate with impunity and set up protected artillery positions without undue concern for enemy artillery fire. The shift back to superpower conflict means that U.S. ground forces must once again fight large armies with cutting-edge weapons that ensure U.S. equipment is technologically superior to that deployed by potential adversaries. Aircraft attacking very distant targets have the potential to be shot down in the process, losing a pilot and $100 million worth of aircraft. The artillery war between Ukraine and Russia, where both sides fire hundreds of howitzers and multiple rocket launchers daily, is a complete reminder of the power of artillery and what artillery can achieve. One of the important lessons of Ukrainian artillery warfare from the losers of artillery battles is that the one who can fire the longest dominates the battlefield. The Russian self-propelled howitzer 2S-19 S with a caliber of 152 mm has a range of 24.7 km. The standard range of the new Moscow 2S-35 Coalicija self-propelled howitzer is 40 km. These guns outperformed Ukrainian 2S-3 self-propelled howitzers, which have a range of only 17.3 km. As a result, Ukrainian artillery forces must continue to fire their cannons within range of Russian artillery, putting them in constant danger. On the other hand, with careful planning, the Russian gunners could get out of the range of the Ukrainian guns. Most artillery shells are sent by detonating a propellant behind the weapon. The charge creates pressure behind the charge, which in turn ejects the charge from the barrel and fires the target. More urgency can mean more reach, but it can sometimes be dangerous. Instead, some grenades inject gas behind them, which reduces drag as the grenade flies through the air, a method known as priming. Some grenades, called rocket-assisted projectiles, use real rocket engines to power them. The new Ramjet 155 projectile, jointly developed by Boeing and Norwegian defense company Nammo, is the first artillery projectile to use thrust for propulsion. The projectile has been in development since 2019 when military funding was expanded under the XM-1155 artillery projectile. Ramjets are naturally aspirated engines that draw in air at high speed and then mix it with the gases from fuel combustion. Then the compressed air and exhaust gases pass through the rear nozzle and create thrust. Ramjet projectiles have advantages over basic launch technology and rocket-propelled grenades. First, the crust uses the oxygen in the air itself as buoyancy, and there's a lot of oxygen in the atmosphere. This reduces the amount of fuel in the fuselage during flight. Second, unlike other types of projectiles, the thrust projectile can accelerate over a greater distance, giving it a higher velocity at the time of impact. Of course, these shells have some negative points. First, adding a ramjet engine will cost you more than regular grenades. Second, the cartridge must have a guide assembly, guide pins, and thrust to reduce the explosive charge of the cartridge. The compromise is worth it. Older precision-guided artillery systems cannot fire rounds directly at the target, but instead fire multiple rounds nearby to neutralize the target. The Ramjet 155's precision guidance system tends to launch the shells directly over its target. This requires fewer bullets and fewer explosives per charge. Artillery units can also support ground forces previously provided by attack fighters and attack helicopters. Plus, the ability to shoot at moving targets puts enemy tanks in your sights. The Army has a new howitzer, a cannon with a range of 70 kilometers. Is Ramjet 155 make it obsolete? Not really. 
The Ramjet 155 can work with the Army's M777 towed howitzer, the M109A7 self-propelled howitzer, and the ERCA itself. While the Army still needs the ERCA, the M777 or M109A7 howitzers can use regular artillery rounds when needed and stock a smaller supply of Ramjet 155s for when gun crews really need to get up close and personal. The M777 crew, whose cumbersome and time-consuming movement process makes them vulnerable to enemy artillery fire, will especially welcome the Ramjet 155. The Ramjet 155 itself is not a game-changer because gunners manning its howitzers cannot see enemy forces 44 miles away. This new round will be a game-changer when drones and other intelligence-gathering systems land on reconnaissance attack systems securely linked to long-range artillery. Artillery units can fire more into enemy territory and fire more bullets without having to move to dodge enemy fire. This is a great combination to scare off potential enemies.